Hi, my name is Cine, and today I'm going to show you how to buy a Zextra Suite license. First of all, you need to go to the Zextra store. You can do so by clicking on the store link on the Zextra's website or pointing your browser to store.zextras.com. Once you're in the Zextra store, you need to log in with your store account. If you still don't have one, click on the account button to create one. After logging in, you are taken to the My Account page where you can manage all your licenses and account information. In this case, you'll need to click on the New License link and you're taken to the Configure Your License page. Kay. First of all, some simple rules apply to this extra suite license. The first one is that the number of licensed mailboxes is the same for all modules acquired and must be equal or higher than the total number of account mailboxes on your Zimbra server. This means that if your server hosts 500 mailboxes, you need to acquire a license for 500 mailboxes. The second one is that Zexo Suite accepts a single license file. It's not possible to upload different license files or merge license files in a single one. Okay then. Let's say that my server has 500 users. So in the your Zimbra mailboxes, I'll input 500. You see that the minimum number is 10, while the maximum is 5,000. Over 5,000 mailboxes, please contact the sales team to have a custom quotation. After the number of mailboxes, you need to select the time span of your license. There are three choices here. The first one is the yearly license. The second one is the perpetual license for Zimbra version. The perpetual license does not have any time limit, but is bound to a single Zimbra major version. So let's say you buy a license, f a perpetual license for Zimbra 7, then if you upgrade to version 8, you'll need to buy another different license. And the third choice is the custom defined license, which allows you to define a time span with a minimum of 183 days, so six months. You can then choose if you want to benefit of the 40% discount for educational, governmental and non-profit organizations. Let's say I need a yearly license. And next, you need to select your modules. So select the product you're going to add to your license. Again, three choices here. The first one is a bundle. is the Zextras Backup module along with Zextras Power Store module provided free. The second choice is the Zextras Mobile module. And the third choice is a bundle option. So a bundle gathering all three modules at a discounted price. I'm going with a bundle. So right now I'm buying a license for a Zimbra server hosting 500 mailboxes. My license will last for a whole year and will comprise all the three Zexus module that are available right now. Scrolling down, you can see the total of your purchase. Let's have a little breakdown on this. This is the first price you see is the base price, so without any discount taken in account. You can then see from the second line that the Zexos Power Store module is provided for free. Then you can see a quantity discount because any mailbox over the 250 benefits of a 20% discount, as you can see here. Mailboxes 10 to 250 are on full price. Mailboxes 251 to 2500 benefit of a 20% discount. Mailboxes 2501 to 5000 benefit of a 40% discount. And again, for over 5000 mailboxes, you need to contact our sales team by clicking on this link. Back to the total, you can see that it is a base price of 3,500 euros 
with a quantity discount of 350 euros. So a price of 3,150 euros, which adding the VAT adds up to a total of 3,811 euros. Once your license is configured, you can proceed by selecting the payment method. Many options are available. There is the PayPal payment, unit credit and credit cards payment, Skrill local bo bank transfer, and there's also a bank transfer option, which is not available by default, but can be requested by sending an email to sales at zexus.com. So let's say I'll go with the bank transfer, and I'll continue to the checkout. Here I can review all my data. So for example, the selected payment method, the payment address, the modules I'm acquiring, the number of mailboxes, and the total price. If you had a discount coupon, you can place it here to have a discount calculated. Scrolling down, the well, since I selected the bank transfer, I have the bank informations for the payment, which are also written in the invoice. Clicking on checkout, the view says that my hoarding has been processed. I can download my license from the My Account page by clicking the history link. And uh, since I selected the bank transfer, the license is not available immediately, but it's made available manually by the sales team once the payment has been completely processed. While paying by PayPal, credit card, or Skrill will have your license delivered immediately. Clicking on continue, you go back on the home page. Clicking on account, you are taken back to the my account page. And you can see the button download license here. By clicking it, you have a breakdown of all the licenses you've acquired along with the view order to see the other informations. The download license button, which as I said previously, in this case is disabled because the payment has not been processed yet, and the upgrades license button. This is all for this video. Thank you for watching.